Hi YouTube, in this tutorial I will show you guys how to evade Windows Defender using Ebola. So it's a Python script that helps us uh, hide our payloads in a way that Windows Defender won't detect it. So in here you can see that this is the GitHub page for it. So we can all you can do is that uh, all you have to do is just copy it from here and clone it to your local computer and run it. So however the problem with this is that it's no longer supported. But it kind of works on some of the machines that I have checked, especially on the older ones. Uh, so what I will do is, in this tutorial, I, if you're familiar with the Hack the Box platform, I will be using it on the Giddy Box from Hack the Box. So in here, I have already access to the machine through this web console here. And if I do a who am I, so I have already access to this machine as the user Stacy. Uh, so let's go to the shell. Uh, so in here, I have already created the payload using MSF Venom. So it's a reverse shell TCP, and this is my IP address, 10.10.14.16, and I will be listening on this port 443. The type is exe, and the name of our shell is reverse shell.exe. So if you do a reverse shell.exe, so this is our file, and if you run this file type, so in here it says it's a PU32 plus executable, uh, x86.64, because we specified 64 in here, it's a 64-bit machine. So what we can do next is that we have to, um, what you have to do next is you have to uh, use Ebola on this payload because uh, as I said, Windows Defender in here, it will detect it and it won't allow us to run it. So let's go here. So opt, I have already cloned it to my machine. It's in the opt. So if I do an LS, these are the files in here. So the first thing that we do is, let me just clear the screen quickly. So I will just copy it. Uh, you just first copy the payload so it was a reversal so in here if I run this command in here it should be so this is my payload in here reversal.exe so what I will do is I will encrypt this payload uh, in a way that Windows Defender won't be able to detect it so the first thing that you have to do is we have to work with this file in here uh, genetic.config so if I open it genetic.config this is the, uh, this is, these are my settings in here. So the output type in here, it's uh, go. This is one important setting here. And uh, the next thing in the payload type is exe. And what we, uh, another important thing down here that we will be using is the environment part in here. So I've already set the computer name to Giddy because the name of the machine that we are uh, trying to hack is Giddy. So in here, if we go here, so we can see that the name of the machine is Giddy this one in here. So that's why I have set this to Giddy. The other part doesn't matter. This is the important part. So next what we have to do is we have to run this ebola.py file. So in here, this one. So we have to run this. Let me just quickly clean the screen. So Python ebola.py and our reversal, which is in the current directory as well. And then we have to specify the genetic file that we, that we modified. So when we run it, it says that the writing go payload to go symmetric, uh, this in here. So if we run this ls, there is a directory called output. So if we go to output, in here we can see that there is this file called go symmetric reversal exe.go. So next what we can do is, um, what you can do is we have to run the build on it. So if we do this, so in here there is this file called build x64 in here. So this is what you are interested in this shell file. So what you have to do is we have to run this and we say build x64 shell and then we have to out mention this file that we saw that's in the output directory and then we have to specify the name of our reverse shell which is reverse shell.exe this is the one we created using msf venom so when we run it it just takes some time it should be done fast so in here you can see that copy reverse shell to output so it's again in the output directory so if i go to output directory now if i uh, list the contents of it in here you can see that this is the payload reversal.exe so this is the name of the payload so let's just uh, I can copy it or I can just run Python so if I just clear the screen Python 3 so I will run the Python uh, server in here so that I could upload it to my uh, computer on the Giddy machine so in here you can see that it's listening on all interfaces and on port 8000 so in here let's go here quickly so in here, what we can do is we can run wget. So it's HTTP 10, 10, 14, 6, port is 8,000. 
and the name of the payload was reverse shell dot exe and for the output name I will use something called task kill task kill dot exe so now why am I doing this so it will take a, a few seconds for it to run because the payload is kind of large so let me explain why I am naming it task kill so this giddy machine it already has a, a service running that is Unify, or I'm not sure how to pronounce it, Unify or Unify Video Service. So what we can do is, uh, if we run this payload as taskkill.exe, if you stop first the service called Unify or Unify Video Service, and then start the service, it will run this file called taskkill.exe, and it will allow us uh, to uh, escalate our privileges. But other than that, all you could have done is that uh, if you run some other box on some other machine, you can just directly run this executable or this payload and it will give you a reverse shell. But in this case, what I will do is that I will show you guys two things. So it's kind of good. You will learn, you will get to learn two things in just one video. It will uh, allow us to privilege, uh, to escalate our privileges. So in here, you can see that currently I am logged in as a regular or a standard user called Stacy. So once this gets uploaded, what it will allow us that uh, it will allow us to get system privileges or admin, admin level privileges to the machine. Uh, so there is this, this vulnerability is related to the program called uh, Unify or Unify Video Service. So this is what allows us to escalate our privileges. Uh, okay, so just let's wait a few seconds. In here we can see that it's increasing the number of bytes that are written, so it will probably just take a few more seconds. So yes, now it's done. It's a good thing. So if we do a DIR, in here we can see that the file is there, taskkill.exe. Now in order, now if it were some other computer, you could just do this and it will run it for you. But in this uh, case, uh, I will, I'm just trying to show you another thing. So it's uh, a way of escalating your privileges. So the first, let's just go here. And so in here you can see that it says a status of 200. So it means that the file was successfully copied as we saw that it was copied. Uh, so next, let's just create a listener on port 443 because this is what you specified when we were generating our payload. So next, let's uh, do this, unify. So if we run unify, and uh, it's a video service. So it will just first uh, stop this service. And next, what we do is restart the service. So restarting this service will allow us to escalate our privileges. So what basically it does at first, it stops this service and when it restarts it uses this task kill.exe so this task kill.exe there's this vulnerability in this program that will allow us so whenever the task is started it goes into this directory the program data unify video directory and if there is a file by the name of task kill.exe in it it will automatically run it when the service is started so this is why i am stopping this service so it's giving me a few, a few messages that's trying to stop it. So it should stop in a few seconds. So after this, what we have to do is we have to just start it and we will get reverse shell. So it's running, 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 and it's trying to stop it. So it should be able to stop it now. Uh huh. So yeah, now it was able to stop. So if we say start service, Unify video service, so in here you're running, it says running, running. So in here running service. So now if we go back in here, so now you can see that we got our reversal. Now previously, when I run this, who am I? I was the uh, Stacy user. So in here, uh, let's just quickly go back here. Who am I? So in here we can see that it says Stacy. But in here we get this uh, access as anti authority system. Why? Because of this problem in Unify Video. So this tutorial uh, was mainly to show you how to uh, encode your payloads or encrypt your payloads so that it would evade Windows Defender, but you got to learn an extra thing that uh, was the problem was with the Unify Video service, which allowed us to escalate our privileges. So this is it for this one, guys. If you have any questions, uh, suggestions, or recommendations, uh, please put it in the comment section below. And if you found this tutorial useful, please uh, make sure to share it with your friends. And I'll see you guys in the next one.